Hi, I'm Nate, and welcome to Nate's Road Life. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to find a leak in your air conditioning system. Now, there are many different ways that you can do this. This method is going to be for if you have a major leak. Now, probably the most common is a small leak, and you just fill it with refrigerant, or it would already have refrigerant in it, and they make a little device you can go around and it sniffs for the refrigerant and you can find the leak that way or they put dye in there that's UV and they shine a UV light see where that dye is. This system experienced a catastrophic failure it all went out like that. If you put Freon in it you'll lose the Freon before you can do anything it's just it's leaking that bad and uh, we don't want to be just pumping a bunch of Freon into this thing and losing it to the environment because one, that's bad for the environment, two, it gets costly, right? So if you are in the same predicament that I am where you lost refrigerant fairly quick and you're having trouble locating where it is, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video right here. All right, the first step in this process, you got to get you a set of gauges and get them hooked up. Now, these gauges are pretty simple. I'll show you with this high pressure side right here. It just clips on. You pull back this collar, slide it over. Once it latches on, you tighten this down. There's a little rod that sticks out from the middle and pushes in on the Schrader valve. That's how you hook these up. You've got a high and a low pressure side. You cannot get them mixed up. One is larger than the other. They will not interchange, right? So you hook them up just like such, and then tighten them down. That pushes in the Schrader valve. She's ready to go. Next step, what I did, and you can probably do this any number of ways, I have got an air chuck here for an air compressor with a small quarter turn ball valve. This is a quarter inch MPT threads, this male pipe threads, MPT, threads in to this, which is actually a bottle topper for refrigerant. This thing will actually screw onto a bottle of refrigerant and then screw onto here, so that way you can add refrigerant to your vehicle. Well, what I did was I just hooked this to, to that, so that way I could hook an air compressor up to it. So we put this on there like such. Now, I can hook an air compressor to this and I can put pressure in the system. All right, so now that we got this all taken care of, we got an air hose, we got an air compressor. Now I turn that air compressor, the working side of it, down to about 50 PSI. That way I can't put a ridiculous amount of pressure in this. The system will hold it. I mean, the high side of this system gets up 200, 300 PSI. It will definitely hold more than that air compressor can pump, but I don't need a ridiculous amount of air to test for a leak, right? So we're gonna hook it up just like that. She's hooked up, ready to go. Ball valve is turned off, okay? We're gonna turn our gauges on, open the gauges, which these ones were already open. These are rental gauges from O'Reilly's, by the way. You can rent these. So now that them gauges are open, our lines are hooked up, ready to go. I'm gonna slowly turn this ball valve on and start putting some pressure in here. You see that needle come up? And we got 50 pounds in it. I'll shut these gauges off so that way I don't have to worry about bleeding back through here because it's leaking out of here a little bit. And now I've got me a sprayer with some soapy water in it. That's all it is, just some soapy water. And we're gonna go around and we're gonna start spraying fittings and whatever else until we start finding bubbles, okay? All right, so I have tried to get the camera down to where you guys can see this pretty decent. Right here where my finger is, there's a hole in this AC condenser. I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but there's a big old dent where it got hit by a rock or something. You can hear it hissing out. I'm spraying soapy water on it. You can probably see the water spraying off of it. It's blowing out too hard right now to actually make bubbles but once the pressure comes down off of it, that's why I was saying that you don't need to get 
a ridiculous amount of pressure in this because if you put 70, 80 pounds in there, it's gonna blow out so hard that it won't actually make bubbles. You really need more like 10, 15 PSI, something like that. But anyway, in this case, you can hear it hissing. Uh, you might not be able to on the camera, but it is hissing, you can hear it. And you can also see it once the pressure comes down a little bit when you spray the soapy water on it. And I'm gonna try to demonstrate that here in a minute once the pressure falls off a little better. There you go, now we're down to about five PSI or so. And you can start to see, here's the bubbles. A rock must have hit that. Put a little dent in it, poked a hole. So, this truck needs a new AC condenser. So that's all there is to it, guys. You guys got you a leak, it's a major leak. You can't use Freon to detect it some way. This is a pretty easy, cheap method mainly tools you're going to have laying around a shop tools that you're going to need to service this ac anyway so we're about to change the compressor in this truck or the condenser i mean in this truck since it's obviously leaking if that's something you're interested in that video will be coming shortly until next time guys i really hope that this helps if it does i'd be honored if you would like comment subscribe it'd mean a lot to me it's uh it helps this channel out a lot so we post content like this pretty regularly. We also do traveling and cooking and just whatever random vlog that we're doing at the time. So we'll catch you all in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe.